What is up, self-made homestead family? This is the pocket rocket, or as I call it now, the pellet pocket. Uh, if you watched my last video, we built this thing from a $7 piece of scrap metal. That link is in the description below. A couple of guys asked me to show you guys how it works, so I'm going to do that. Okay, first things first, let's give you a quick walk around, all right? That's what that was. Now, right here, that is the pellet chute. There's holes on either side, that's the air intake. If you watched the video, you know I slotted this to help with air intake along the chamber. That's the smokestack and cook surface. You see that I got a grate on it. That's a 10 inch grate from end to end. 10 inches, hold the 12 inch skillet like butter, okay? That is the backside Rubik's Cube vent. That's where you light the fire. That's where the ash catch happens, right underneath the primary burn chamber, okay? So this is the primary burn chamber. That's the secondary burn chamber and ash catch. That tube I just showed you is connected to that. It's one piece, okay? So it sits like this, watch. Bam, that's the ash catch, okay? That goes in thus like that, thusly. And then this is the primary burn tray. Check me out, okay? That sits just underneath the pellet feed. So the pellets go in, they get loaded, bam. And then you just do the dang thing. Okay, so there it is. Uh, once again, pellets here. I'll do that. Yesterday we battle tested it before I went paint mode on it. Uh, I painted it once, didn't like it, went to the bench, made some modifications by making those two chambers, painted it again, and now we're here. All right, so always keep exploring. I'll do an update video on that, but that's basically what it was. I created an ash catch and a primary burn tray right here, okay? So I'll load it now. It takes four solo cups full of pellets. We'll go ahead and do that. But for the ignition process, you're gonna need a propane torchy torch. You're gonna need a solo cup full of some good pellets, okay? Get you some pellets. Load that bad boy up. I'm using my left hand. Good thing I'm ambidextrous and I don't care about this cup here. Okay. One. A two. Comment below if you know where that's from. And you can see the pellets starting to fill up in there, I think. Yeah, I see them down there. A three! Oops. Getting a little excited, y'all. Sorry, it's my birthday. True story. I'm 36 today. I might even make a tool for this because, you know, why not? See, pellets coming up to shoot. Four. And that should be the final. Uh, the tops are off nice. Okay. There you go. That's four. Give her a little tap. Load them in. There she goes. All right. Now, ignition time. So you're gonna walk around the back of the stove, okay? See that Rubik's Cube vent right there? Listen, got the, got the lighter, pop and use your flint. Striker. Get it going, okay? Watch this. Stick this in the chamber upside down i designed it to just sit there y'all look at that look at my hands free okay so while i'll do that i'll walk that over there put that over there and we'll look down the chute wait for it oh that's 
that smoke coming out of the stack already? I do believe it is. While that's going, I'll go ahead and tell you about the only tool you're gonna need for this. So, got the smoke, uh, you got the primary burn chamber, secondary burn chamber engaged. This piece of 3 ace rebar fits through this hole, right? You go in here and you give the, you can give the burn tray a little wiggle. That'll drop your ash into the burn tray. And that's it. That's all you got to do for maintenance. Make sure that it does that. You know, I check it whenever. Like I said, <coughs> excuse me, this bad boy burns for four hours on four cups of pellet fuel loaded thusly. And look, there's some smoke coming. We'll see here, fire here in a second. And because it's a pellet stove, y'all, it burns really, really smooth, okay? So if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that and let it burn like that. You'll hear the draft being created as it goes. Okay, but here we go. So that's how you do her. I'll check back in here in a second. No, you know what? I'll keep it rolling for you guys. I want you guys to see how long it takes for it to go. It's not long at all. As you can see, smoke's already coming. And where there's smoke, there's fire. So yes, I've converted this thing to a pellet pocket dual fuel stove. Now listen, if you used wood, right? It's still dual fuel. You could load the chute with wood, light it from right there, and then the burn tray would still do the same thing, the ash catch would still do the same thing, and you would still get fire right up there. I'll do that in another video to prove to you guys that this is dual fuel, because everybody wanted to see me work it. Everybody wanted to see that it was dual fuel. So first I'll show you the pellets, which in my opinion is the hardest one. Everybody can build a rocket stove with scrap wood, but building a consistent burning, consistent heating stove, that's a different story. All right, so I'll be right back. I forgot one tool. I'm gonna go get my digital thermometer to show you guys the side readout and the stack readout. I'll be right back. Real quick while I'm in here, I wanna show you guys something. So I set my stove, my wise way. This is the wise way, right? GW 1949. I did not build that according to one of the trolls. He said that I thought I said I built that. I said I didn't build that. I said I built this, the smokestack for that by hand. There's a video for that as well. That's three sixteenths, three and a half wall square tube. Uh, and that is running constantly at 400 degrees. Now, a lot of guys tell me you can go up to 700. I don't like to do that. My range is four to 600 and I control it with that fan right there. So if you want to watch that video, go ahead. That's also in the description. But for reference, this monster runs off of a 60 pound hopper in the back and it's cranking out 400 degrees right now. Okay, set there, it's been running there all night. Don't have to think about it anymore. I just do the maintenance in the morning and we're good to go. Now I'll go back outside. Okay, I'm back. It looks like it's not burning, right? Wrong. Pellet fuel burns super duper clean. I've only been out for like a minute and a half, I think. I'll show you something cool. Like once you turn, once the stove is ignited, right? You take the propane torch out of the intake here for the secondary burn tray, which serves as an, a circulation source for the air, right? Take that out. It'll smoke. But look at here. That's clean flame, okay? Now let me show you some temp action. All right, on the side. reason I like pellet stoves so much is because they're pretty much zero clearance. Look. At the burn chamber, 105, 115, right? Okay, we'll call that 115 to 120 at the side. But that leg, if you remember in the video, those legs are eight inch sections. So that gives you the clearance you need to be away from it, right? And your campsite. Looking down the stack, here we go. It's really hard to do one-handed. There we go. You see that? In the stack itself, at the bottom of the smoke chamber, 
you're in the 400s and some change okay look at that look here i'll make it so you guys can see it and you can see the red dot here i'll take the i'll take the grate off real quick so we can get a nice clean look at it okay there's the fire there's the temp okay you can cook off that very easily you can also warm your whole place up off of that now here's the deal i'm going to show you something i'm going to intentionally make this thing smoke let me put that back on i'm going to intentionally make this thing smoke here's what happens when the draft isn't right turn it sideways she'll smoke up because the air can't get intake the same way that it needs to of course i won't show you that on camera now because it's running a temp anyway I'll do another video where we're getting it set up where it does that. All you gotta do is pick it up and adjust it to the way the wind's running. But you can see the heat. It's getting more intense now that I moved it. That's my point. Here, look, I'll move this off. See how the flame's getting higher? All you gotta do is fiddle around with the airflow of where you are, which means this will work where you are. And look, if I can do this left-handed, you guys can do this with both hands, not filming. So that is the self-made pellet pocket overview hope you like it if you like this video and you want to learn how to build more stuff like this remember this thing cost me seven dollars please like subscribe and share make sure you comment below too like i said four hours of burn time with a full pellet hopper i have yet to do it with wood that's my next video to show you guys that it's dual fuel because i know it is i want to do a video where i stack that same hopper because it's gravity fed with wood and see how that burns out it's the Kid Mike May signing out from the self-made homestead on my birthday. Y'all have a great day. Do something awesome. Continue to build, continue to dream, to continue to be inspired. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.